What's going on, YouTube? It's your Shirley Rock Combo, aka the Professor on the Sticks. We got a great game here. This is the Conference Championship. This is actually going to be a really, really good game, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And uh, I remember, you know, when this game started, I was uh, it took forever to get this, to get this game in. Like I kept, you know, searching, searching, searching after like ten minutes. Finally got in the game. And I remember my my wife was like hovering over me this entire game because we had to be we had to be somewhere in, in like uh, in like forty minutes. So she's like, "You have like twenty minutes, and we're, we got to go." And uh, <laughs> she kept hovering over. So if you're married, man, it's it's hard to get on the stick sometimes. I you know so much responsibility, but not to mention um, not to mention I had the worst start in ever. So I come out, um, you know, he scored or and I stop him and he throws a pick. Or then I throw a pick six, and I come back, I, I run verticals, and get a zone that's usually open, I had a predetermined read, and I threw two pick sixes back to back, it's just a pathetic start, awful, and I'm pretty pissed at this point, so I'm like, screw it, I'm throwing up to Julio, um, and as you can see, he's, he doesn't really know what to do with the face catch, so I decided to throw it up again, um, and that time he was in a cover two, um, and uh, he was able to, uh, to swat it down. Um, but then the next play I fumbled, but luckily the guy was out of bounds when he recovered it. Uh, I remember, you know, later on in the game, I think I, I, I show, you know, he paused the game and you're going to see, this is not some guy on a, you know, rookie level or whatever. His, his team was pretty juiced. Um, he definitely had something in, in the 90 overall range. I, I, you know, I, I would assume he had some, uh, really good players, but, uh, he's a pretty good player too. So this is definitely a good game. So I've, um, I've kind of, you know, overcome those two turnovers a little bit. You know, I'm down 14-7, but I was able to, uh, you know, I gave the guy pretty much a 14-point uh, cushion start out, which is two terrible reads. It wasn't pressure in my face or anything. It was just terrible reads. And, um, you know, was able to recover, get a touchdown. And uh, right here, as you can see, I'm on an all-out blitz, a man blitz, and I, you know, that's my guy. I can tell he's running corner out. Um, and this year, Madden, there's just not a lot of really good users, and sometimes... You know, you can play it perfect and just not get the animation. I felt like I was right where I was supposed to be even positioned wise and uh, he was able to, I guess, get the touchdown out of it, which is definitely frustrating because, you know, there's nothing worse than when in Madden, whenever you feel like you know what your opponent's doing and you make a perfect, good adjustments and, um, you know, and then you're, you're right on something to lurk it for a pick and you either don't get an animation, you drop it, or, um, you know, for whatever reason that, that receiver had the undercut. Right here, as you can see, this is a, a nasty, uh, nasty formation that's going to be coming out in our new um, offense. I'm still trying to get all the reads together. There's a couple other things I'm putting together, and once I finalize that and, and feel fully confident to put something out for y'all, uh, we'll definitely put that out. So uh, be on the lookout. It's a perfect mutt butt, mutt, <laughs> mutt butt, no, <laughs> mutt book because it has really, really good set audibles. And this game is going by so fast. I. Uh, you know, to end the half, there's only like, you know, I don't know, 20 seconds, something like that. And he threw up a tea bag, and, uh, you know, he tea bagged me, and Deion Sanders couldn't make the tackle, and, you know, he got a touchdown out of it. So I've, I've made three, I, th I feel like, pretty crucial errors um, in the first half, two pick sixes, and then I played, uh, I didn't have two, a, a deep safety, so he was able to uh, face catch it um, and get a, a touchdown right before half. And so now it's second and one. I get a drop. Third and one. Once again, this is such a money. Look at that slant out. That's just disgusting. And another drop on third down and one. You know, I have a pretty good fourth down play. However, if I uh, if I kick a field goal, that makes it a one score game. And um, and so you know, I don't take the chance. And you know, I think it's the right play. So let's see. You know, what what happens? I'm, you know, it's a one score game. And once again, right here, third and eighteen. The dude was I was screaming up the B gap and. Uh, unfortunate right there that, you know, he just honestly threw it up. He just threw a lob. He wasn't face catching at all, and he came down with it. That You know, that's Madden 15. I feel like that's something they definitely need to work on a little bit. But I get my opponent to fourth and inches, and uh, he th tries to throw the pass a little too early. I get a, I, uh, get a turnover on downs, and so here I am. Somehow through some three crucial, crucial mistakes, I've, uh, I've been able to come back and um, you know, with a couple of good tee bags and some good offensive execution to make it a one-score game. And now all I need is a two-point conversion. He ended up pausing it after, you know, for whatever reason. And so then this is when I was like, I'm going to check out this guy's lineup. You know, what can I do? And uh, this is where you can see, you know, he has a pretty pretty stud team. Um, let's see, you know, he has uh, 95 Payne Manning and then Michael Vick, the 97 Green, Franco Harris, 
So as you can see, all these players are in the 90s, and uh, overall, you know, he has, he definitely has a better team than me. Um, so, you know, scheme over team though, right? So that's that's what I'm going to have to do right here. For whatever reason, when he unpaused it, there was only like a few seconds left on the play clock. So I ended up taking a five-yard loss, but I think that was actually kind of a blessing in the skies. You can see right here, uh, do the PA end around, you know, roll out, and was able to, uh, you know, he hasn't been able to stop that play all, all game long. So I was pretty confident, and I also had a slant route coming across the middle. So I felt pretty confident with uh, with that play call. Tied it up, 28-28 is third and four, crucial down. And he had this uh, pretty unique formation that uh, you, I haven't, you know, you, ha you don't, don't really see too often. So I didn't really know how to fully defend that. And I took away his first read, and uh, he did a really good job of, of going to his secondary read and picking up the first down. And then now he just hits me with a curl flat combo, breaks a tack up, tackle, and uh, he's he's in field goal range. So at the two minute warning, second and twelve, big hit, and he recovers it. Unfortunately, so third and eleven, this is a huge play. Once again, he's just trunking it up. You know, I finally get a uh, a good reaction there uh, to settle uh, for a field goal to make it. 31-28, so now I have a minute and four seconds to get in field goal range, but I'm looking for the touchdown. You now I roll out, get out of bounds. Uh, I still have all my timeout, so I decided to run the ball. Eddie Lacy, you know, breaks it, breaks the tackle like he does in, in the NFL as well. And this is where I made uh, my fourth biggest mistake of the game, and I could not overcome these four mistakes. What was my mistake right here? I have, like, Hopkins, like 5'11". I don't know how tall he is. Short man over here. And uh, try to do a face catch with him. I don't know why Julio was in the in the game. I guess he was tired, and I did not realize it. I didn't look over there to see who was in the game. And this is how you lose. It's a game of inches, boys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, I post wins and losses, and uh, hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the sticks.